this video I'm going to make this little model it's an antique car it's a Steve Good pattern it's a little different it's not layered like some of the ones that he's he's done It's one of his earlier ones I believe and uh, I didn't leave it bare wood this time I just painted it black because it's an antique car they were mainly painted black so anyway I tried to leave the spokes look like wood and I hope it gives the effect I want it to on, on camera but uh, stay tuned, I'll look at the pattern and the materials. Materials mostly just scrap, and I layered some things up to get the proper uh, lengths. I even had to plane one back down after I glued it together to get it the proper height and width and what have you. But anyway, stay tuned, we'll look at the pattern. And I'll talk about how I put the axles in. I did a, a technique. Uh, I didn't do it the way you actually had to do it, but I, I drilled those all the way through straight, and I used a technique that I saw in a video a couple of weeks ago and thought I would try it and I did and it, it worked very well so stay tuned you can see what that is and we'll look at the pattern and not a lot of scroll saw cutting here but uh, we'll get to it and finish it up here and try to show you how I layered it together so this is the patterns for this little antique model car there are several pieces a lot of it I've cut on already got it cut I still got some shaping to do a lot of it is cut on the, on the table saw. He, what he's got in this pattern, he's got a, a photo of the car and the different pieces you need, names them, how many you need, and which page those patterns are on. So, like for the trunk, you just need a block that size, and then you, you profile the back side of it. So I cut, I layered two half inch, it has to be a, a, a one inch thick, so I later two half inch and cut it to size. Same thing in the compartment above it. Uh, that's just a piece of three quarter inch. I cut down to the size it's supposed to be. Uh, the, now these I've got the grill and the front window. I've got those patterns laid on a piece of poplar. Most of this is poplar. Some of those smaller pieces are, are some oddball pattern uh, scraps. I'm going to paint this, so it doesn't really matter. And then you got the seat. I believe that's a piece of oak. And I've marked them all as I've gone. And you got the backboard behind the, the seat. That's just a piece of poplar cut on the scroll on the table saw. The engine hood, I did the same thing. I believe that's a, a piece of ash, I believe. Now this is this is the running uh, the uh, fenders uh, with the running board on it. Uh, I've got that layered. And the the side boards. Or as you, you know, like the door, I've got that layered, and I'm gonna cut that twice to give me two wheel, or four wheels. Now the one thing I'm gonna try something. Uh, I saw a video the other day. Rex Kruger did a, something like this. He was building a spring lathe, a powered, a human powered lathe, and he needed to drill a long bore hole straight. And he's doing it all. He did not use a. Uh, grill press or anything like that. He's doing it all by hand. He does everything by hand. If you've ever seen his videos, he's very good. I love to watch him. I'm a patron of his and I get a lot of good ideas from him. But the running board, the flow board, I'm sorry, is this the bottom that everything is mounted on. It's six inches by uh, three inches and it's supposed to be one half inch thick. Now you suppose you got these holes go all the way through Looks like a quarter inch holes. I'll double check that. Uh, it, there is where you got to drill those holes. Now I have lots of problems getting that to go straight. I can do it, but then sometimes it messes up. So he did a thing where he when he did his borehole, he layered his piece, and uh, he needed uh, whatever thickness it was, a uh, three inch. He took two inch and a half pieces. And he marked the lines on each piece, and I've done that with some quarter inch, because that's supposed to be a half inch thick. There's some quarter inch, and I've marked the lines. Then take a little saw and cut a curve in those, and make those match up, so that when you glue them together, I've already started on that, if you can see a little little spot right there. And that, way that gives you a pilot hole to run your drill bit through. Now I've got an Aviation 8 inch. If I get, this, get those uh, curves to line up, and look good, I'll go down through it with the the eighth inch and then I'll come back with the quarter inch. Don't know if this is gonna work. Saw him do it, it worked great for him. He used an auger, 
uh, a brace bit, uh, and he got it perfectly straight. Was using it on his uh, on his lathe, which has to be really straight and, and in truth. So I'm gonna try that with this. Don't know if it's gonna work. If it doesn't, I may go find me some half inch and uh, go ahead and try to drill those. But I think that's a good idea. I thought I'd try it. This was a good opportunity to try it. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to see if I can get that to work before I move on. I don't have a lot of scroll saw cutting. I've got this. And these two pieces. And the fender running board thing. Everything else is already cut out. Cut to size. i got to, I got to shape the trunk and the compartment. they got to have a rounded back corner on them. Um, I've got a side profile. On each one of those, and I got to shape those. But other than that, I just got I got to drill these, and I'm not going to drill the center hole on those wheels till I get this hole the way I want it. I may do some changes there, but uh, that's just a, I got very few internal cuts. Of course, the wheels are you got several cuts there, and the radiator, you know, your grunt front grill. So let me work on this. Let's see if I can get this to work properly. And uh, if it doesn't, then I'll, I'll, I'll back up and punt and do something else. But I think I can make that work. So uh, here we go. I'm going to try it. Well, I've got the two halves of my uh, floorboard experiment, drilling experiment, gluing, and all indicators that that's going to work okay. I took my scratch awl and poked into those holes. It seems to be centered. Seems to want to kind of head straight down. But I'm going to let that dry and set completely in so I won't have any problems with it when I try to drill it. And while that's uh, sitting and gluing up, I'm going to try to cut the rest of these parts out.
well, I'm going to call this drilling experiment a success. As you can see, it goes through straight, comes out the center on both sides. Now, I've drilled it out the next size up so I can make an axle through there that spins. Both of them look good. At least they're straight to the eye. They're in the center on each side. That worked really well. I believe that's even better than trying to cold drill one just with a, uh, a point on there from your scratch all, which is what I usually use to start it with. But that uh, that worked really well. I don't know how many more times I'll have a chance to use that little technique. But I came out with a half inch thick piece with the holes drilled as perfect as I can do it with my equipment. So we'll continue cutting and get these parts ready and put this together. It's all cut out. I have uh, profiled everything. I got a curve on that, on that, on the sides of the hood, and uh, got the holes drilled. Everything sanded and deburred. So that's just kind of a, a real rough mock-up of how it's going to go. You got the grill, uh, the hood, the front window, the seat, and then the, the backboard and the sideboards. A compartment up here and a trunk and then the fenders uh, and then you got it's got the running board with it and then you got the wheels and I've got a dowel for the wheels to go on so I'm gonna start gluing this together uh, start with the grill and work back and I may paint it as I go so it'd be easier to get to those sides as I, as I glue each piece on I may Put a coat of paint on. I'm gonna paint it black. Old cars were generally painted black, and uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go a little at a time, and as the glue's setting, I'll put a coat of paint on each piece and let that dry before I put the next piece on. So that's my plan, and I'll get started on that. Well, there's the finished model. I uh, painted it as I go. Uh, black paint in a dusty shop. Every time I walk in, I'm finding something I need to clean or, or touch up on it. It'll probably continue to do that until I get it out of here. But anyway, I, I tried to leave the wheels like they had wooden spokes. And it's kind of a neat little model. Now, I drilled those holes all the way through for those 
axles. That's not a necessity. I just wanted to try that. I didn't say that earlier. Uh, you don't have to drill those all the way through. You can drill. It's got the pattern's got it marked where those holes go. And you can actually drill each side and then use either a dowel or uh, if you have a, an axle pin, uh, you can use that. Uh, but I wanted to try that technique that I saw uh, to, to drill that three inch deep hole and straight out the other side in a half inch piece of material. And it worked, worked just really, really well. I was very pleased with it. And the thing is, if it didn't work, that's just poplar. I could have went and got me another half inch piece of something, a scrap around here and gone back and drill those holes for the individual axles. This way they line up back pretty well and everything is in its proper place. So anyway, it's kind of a neat little model. Uh, he's got a, this is a Steve Good pattern, he's got a, an old pickup that kind of matches this. I may do that for the next video, uh, model video that I do. But uh, yeah, it, it's just a very simple, just a few blocks of wood. It wasn't a lot of scroll saws, mainly the, the wheels and the grill and, and then some of the side pieces. Uh, and there was a lot of contouring, you know, rounding things off to match each other. And then glued it up a piece at a time. So I hope you enjoyed that. And if you like it, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. This is one of a series of models, and I won't continue that indefinitely. Uh, I don't know how, how many I'm going to make total, but I'm going to get into more complex ones, as, uh, complex ones later. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.